Hello, good morning, dear children. Today, this is uh, lecture number three based on the circular dynamics. I must mention over here. Circular dynamics. Lesson three. Dear children, in my last lecture, we have understood that how to deal with the circular dynamics through centripetal and centrifugal force in bending of cyclist, banking of the road, and motion of the car in a level circular road. Today, this is very, very special lecture for you. Here, I will teach you how will you apply the concept of centripetal force in concave bridge as well as on con convex bridge, along with the conical pendulum and rotor. Let's see what is the concept today we are going to discuss reaction of road on car i am just putting this concept's name a reaction of a reaction of road on car here i am taking two roads one road i am taking concave bridge Another I am taking convex bridge. Let me draw the bridge over here. Dear child, let this is concave bridge. Okay, there is a car on this concave bridge. Let this is the car. All right, and let this is the center of this particular concave bridge. Now you need to understand this is the weight which is acting vertically downward of the car and normal reaction due to the road on the car is like this that is suppose that m right and if this angle is theta obviously this angle will be theta if this angle is theta obviously this angle will be theta now this component i must say that is mg cos theta we are only interesting along the I mean to say centripetal acceleration, use the Newton's second law, n minus mg cos theta, that is equal to mb square upon r. If v is the velocity of this car on this road, then what you are getting, n is equal to mg cos theta plus mb square upon r. This is the normal reaction which is acting on the car due to the concave bridge. Dear children, sometimes you'll get the question based on this. If suppose that cos theta, if I'm talking about cos theta here, what is the graph of cos theta? At zero degree value of cos theta will be maximum, that is one. And at 90 degree, that will be zero. I mean to say when angle is small, when theta is small, normal reaction is increasing here because if angle is small, cos theta will be small. Sorry, cos theta will be more. Cos theta will be more, therefore normal reaction will be more. So this concept is very, very important here, okay? Sometimes they will ask the question, if car is, uh, I, I mean to say, moving on the concave bridge, what happened to its normal reaction? Is it increased, it is decreased, same. So you have to write the increase because as you, this car is moving towards the center, angle become less because this is the angle. Angle become less and due to that cos theta become i and normal will increase. So that is the main thing you have to remember here. By the same manner, dear children, if you have a convex bridge, I must draw the convex bridge over here. Let this is the convex bridge. Okay, a car is moving on the convex bridge by this way, like this. And this is the top and this is the center, suppose that. Obviously, its weight will be vertically downward, mg. Let this angle, I am taking theta here. Now, if this angle is theta, obviously this angle is theta. Weight of the component of the weight which is acting towards the center, that is mg cos theta. And normal reaction provided by the road on the car, that is perpendicular to the point of contact, that is m. You know, dear children, Direction of centripetal is acceleration towards the center always. 
by applying the Newton's second law, we can write mg cos theta minus n, that is the net force, is equal to mass into acceleration. Which acceleration we are talking about? That is centripetal acceleration, v square upon r. If r is the radius of this track. All right. What you are getting? n is equal to, take n this side, mb r square this side. That will be mg cos theta minus mb square upon r. So this is the way how you deal with a normal reaction in two bridges. This is very, very important concept, especially for the numerical purpose. When and where, how will you calculate the centripetal force, normal reaction, as well as its setup. I hope this will be clear now. Now, the most important topic which we are starting today, that is conical pendulum. Conical pendulum. Conical pendulum is a kind of setup, you can say this is a rigid support, suppose that this is a bob of pendulum. But you know, bob is always oscillating, but here it is oscillating in a horizontal circle uniformly like this. This is the kind of the track followed by this particular bob. Okay, so that is the important thing you have to remember here. Let this angle is theta. This angle is theta here. This kind of the setup is called conical pendulum. I must say here about the conical pendulum. That is, conical pendulum is an example of uniform circular motion in horizontal plane. Uniform circular motion in horizontal plane. Don't forget it. horizontal plane. There may be vertical plane also. This is called vertical circle and this is called horizontal circle. If suppose that you are making the circle on ground, that is called horizontal circle. If suppose that you are you are taking a stone and just revolving by this way, it will show the vertical circle by this way. So both the setups are different. Right now we are dealing with the horizontal platform, which is called conical pendulum in simple language. Okay. Let's see here. On this particular, let this is the position where we are taking the bob of this simple pendulum. Weight of the bob, let that is mass is m and its weight is mg, downward direction. And tension in a string, that will be t. Dear children, if you take this angle theta, obviously this is alternate angle theta. And here, tension has the two component. One component that is t cos theta and another component is t sin theta here. Just remember. Okay, when an observer is sitting on this ball, centrifugal force will act in outward direction, that is m omega square r. By this way, you can understand their children if r is the radius here. Now, at equilibrium, I must write at equilibrium, what will happen? T sine theta will provide what? Centrifugal force, that is m omega square r. Let this is equation one. And T cos theta in vertical axis, it is just I mean to say it is just balancing, t cos theta is balancing the weight here. If t cos theta is balancing the weight, it means we must write t cos theta is equal to what? That is mg. Let this is equation 2. Okay. In the question, they may ask from you to calculate the tension or calculate the angle here. If you want to calculate the tension, I must square or add both these equations. t square into 1. Why? Because sine square cos square theta become 1 is equal to m square omega 4 r square plus m square g square. Okay. Now tension will be under root of m square omega 4 plus r, sorry r square plus m square into g square. This is the main thing you have to remember. If you want to calculate the tension. Dear children, if you want to calculate the angle only, then you have to divide. Divide 1 by 2. Then you will get sine theta upon cos theta. Tt will cancel out. That will be 10 theta. Which is equal to omega square r upon g. Mm will cancel out. This formula is also important in case of the conical pendulum. Two things you can easily calculate. One is tension in a string. Another is angle of the string from the vertical, that is 10 theta 
okay and you can also write by this way also tan theta is equal to if you have the linear speed it become b square upon rg because uh, v is omega r then omega is what v upon r you can put this value and get the result so there are the two ways to understand this concept one is by the linear velocity and it is by the angular velocity that is up to you how you avail this thing yeah one more topic dear children i want to teach you today that is rotation of the man rotation of man with wall of rotor wall of rotor rotor is main thing here what is rotor this is just like a drum cylindrical drum you can see by this way cylindrical drum okay and this is the axis of rotation of this cylindrical it is rotated by some angular velocity omega and there is a man suppose that which is attached with the wall of this drum okay i mean to say when you consider this kind of the setup this is kind of the i mean to say right when man is attached with the wall it is rotating and uh, man will not fall down so they will ask from you what should the speed of the drum so that man should be remains attached with the wall of this drum or rotor okay that thing we want to discuss here dear children so let's see carefully here if you deal with the weight of the man that i will write mg here normal provided by the wall that is suppose that n all right and you know centripetal centrifugal force will be outward why because drum is moving this is inertial frame that's why m omega square r it is the centrifugal force acting on the man all right if there is suppose there some friction friction coefficient is there otherwise it will it would have to fall down so that's why there should be some friction friction will oppose the tendency of its falling that's why it will up act upward direction all right at the balancing condition we can write n is equal to m omega square r and we can write even friction is equal to mg okay now what is friction dear children friction is mu n which is equal to mg here but what is the value of n just see that is mu m omega square r is equal to mg okay matter of fact is that always you have n is equal to mg but here n is what n will balance the centrifugal force that's what its value is m omega square r mm will cancel out you can calculate that speed which is required m square is equal to g upon mu r and finally angular speed should be g upon mu r this is the speed if rotor is revolving with this speed okay and greater than this speed greater than or equal to this speed then what will happen man will remains attached with the wall of the drum otherwise man will fall so this is the thing dear children very very important for you okay you must understand all this concept carefully and in my, in my next lecture and lecture i will provide you numerical techniques which is based on the circular dynamics till that you have to enjoy these topics Thank you everybody thank you very much thank you very much